Hello guys, I'm coming to you. Ugh. I'm not even going to edit that out. Um, good morning guys, I'm coming to you from cold old Tasmania. It's very chilly here today, so you may hear the whirring of my little um, fan heater in the background. Um, and I'm going to show you a mega music hall. Um, so yesterday I went to quite a few thrift shops, but I'm, I'm going to... Um, break these down into a few different videos or it could get a little bit long. Uh, so recently my old Subaru gave up the ghost so I can no longer listen to music with USB or aux or anything like that. Um, my Falcon as fancy as it is has none of that just has radio and CD player. So I've been on the lookout for a few decent CDs to um, while away the hours while I'm driving backwards and forwards to thrift shops. Um, so I popped into the City Mission tip shop at Ulverston yesterday and they had just unloaded a great big haul of really great CDs. Um, now it says on the wall CDs one dollar each. I didn't notice that some of them were priced separately. I really think they should have had them in a different section or at least said on the on the sign or at um, or at certain prices for better CDs, you know what I mean. Uh, so anyway, I collected most of these to keep for myself. Um, it was mostly to my taste. I did leave a lot behind. Uh, I'm not really into um, certain certain ones. Oh, Andre Rieu, for example, <laughs> not my cup of tea. Um, but yeah, so we'll go through them. So one of my favourites is good old Alan Jackson and the Chattahoochee, you know, so this is, is um, the greatest collection, so there's quite a number of really good songs on there, um, Living on Love, she's got the rhythm, Golden Country, you know, so great little buy, so that one was one dollar, I had this, I, look, I had hundreds of CDs, but I had six children, so you can just imagine. So I had this CD, brought it as soon as it came out. Who didn't have Shania Twain come on over? Uh, one of my son's favourite CDs, so he'll be a bit excited to um, play this. He'll probably pinch it. Um, so the good old Shania Twain, the original songs. Yeah, you know, um... That don't impress me much. Didn't impress me that my CD collection went all over the backyard pretty much. But here's one back. And I think that's what a lot of people are doing these days. They're restocking their old collections. Lily Allen. She's a bit fun. Um, my son used to play Alfie all the time. She was a bit of a naughty, a naughty girl with her songs, but quite cool. Uh, now these ones were all one dollar. Uh, Keith Urban Fuse. Oh, look, I wish um, I wish the one with somebody like you had been there, but that wasn't there sadly. But we'll take any Keith Urban for one dollar. <sighs> Chad Morgan. <laughs> my mum used to play Chad Morgan when I was a kid. And we used to listen to On My Own Grandpa and The Sheik of Scrubby Creek. So there were a couple of Chad Morgan. This one's 60 years from 52 to 2012. So some of these newer ones I'm going to review. And we've got another Keith Urban. Now who doesn't like looking at a cover of Keith Urban? I mean, hello, we're only human. <laughs> So, Keith Urban, get closer. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, this one was priced separately for some reason. Another Keith Urban. So, that one was $2. Sorry, there's a lot of um, shine on the screen. What's that one? That one is B here. So, I think it was. No, it's not me. Oh, and look, we're back to the high school days. Billy Idol. Who doesn't love the Billy? Never do that thing, but my daughter can with the one lip up. 
Makes me look silly. Anyway, Billy Idol. Come on, come on. White Wedding. I mean, hello. These are these are classics. <laughs> so I couldn't leave that one behind. Um, I'll leave the best for last, as in value-wise. Um, I looked up a few eBay comps and they sell quite well. But I probably won't be selling them. But just for your information. Um, so another one, Jimmy Barnes, Soul Deep. ZZ Top. He looks like he's been played a little bit. But, you know, you've got um, LaGrange. Love LaGrange. Another great Australian band, In Excess, Suicide Blonde. Great, great songs. Um, this one was priced at $2. We've got The Winners 2003, so it's just country music. It has um, finalists from the CMA Country Music Awards, Lee Kernigan, um, John Williamson, etc., now I was only I was only um watching a YouTube video the other day and I can't remember who it was, but she loved Billy Joel. And they'd been listening to Billy Joel a lot and it brought back a few memories. And then I walk in and here's a greatest hits two volume C D of Billy Joel. So that was that was great. Uh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to have plenty of music to listen to. All right, this one was two dollars. This is Becky Cole, Live at La Zotz. That's that's fun. Actually, went to see Becky Cole a number of years ago at the Prickly Mo in Tassie. She's quite a quite a hoot. Um, this one going to. West with the best. So these are a few older ones. Patsy Klein, Johnny Cash, Charlie Rich. These are my mother's kind of music. Tammy Wynette, Kenny Rogers, Charlie Pride. I love Charlie Pride. Crystal Chandelier. I remember listening to that many times. Um, then we have Abba Gold. That's just got some of the classics on it. Don't you love Dr. Hook's smooth voice? So that will be getting played very soon. Love Dr. Hook. Another high school days um, with the eurythmics. <laughs> with the eurythmics. Words are getting so hard as I get older. So another great band. Uh, this was another one I had that my son took a liking to. Natalie and Brawlia torn so um that will probably disappear again but that's okay another dr hook 20 greatest hits we got on that one sharing the night together when you're in love with a beautiful woman just classic classic music ah Brian Adams, Cuts Like a Knife. Who didn't love Brian Adams? Now, the world's best award-winning country. This one's got Alan Jackson, Brooks and Dunn, Gina Jeffries, etc. A bit of country every now and then. Mind you, most of these are country. Oh, and look, I could not leave this one behind. The good old meatloaf bat out of hell. I think I had this on record many, many, many years ago. So, that'll bring back some memories. And we have a two-disc set of the legendary Charlie Pride. This one was $3. That was a priced one for some reason. With a couple of the others with a double set. She just won two, you know, $2, but... Whatever. I ended up spending oh, 50 something dollars on all these CD, CDs, so who can complain? Sorry. 
Um, then we've got Ella Fitzgerald. Making Whoopi, Dream a Little Dream of Me, etc. The biggest barbecue album. Now, what's on this one? What have we got? Old Chisel, Good Charlotte, Evanescence. Lovely. And what's more, three CDs in that one. And we've got The Living End. First live concert I ever went to was an ACDC concert and Living End was their um, intro band. So that's cool. I'm not sure if any of these ones were played that night, but grabbed it anyway. Oh, yeah, I think all torn down was. Ah, Vanessa, Vanessa Amorossi, The Power. Loved Vanessa back in the day. Um, Shine, you know, all of those classic songs. Oh, thank you. I'm videoing. <laughs> Hello. Here's my son with the noisy mouth. That's okay. <laughs> uh, so feeling a little bit better. Have some milk. Or a hot drink. Oh. I beat that out, but I don't know how to. I'm not that computer illiterate. I'm computer literate. I'm very illiterate. Sorry. <laughs> Casey Chambers, Wayward Angel. Rob Thomas, Cradle Song. I do like Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20. Uh, I used to have this one. Robbie Williams, Escapology. Uh, there's songs on there. Then we have the other Chad Morgan. Um, and then we have these ones. So these were a little bit special. So these were $3 each. So Cold Chisel, Collector's Edition. They're in a slip case. I'll show you inside of a couple of them. So that one was $3. Now I comped some of these and some of these are going up like up to $35 pre-owned. So that was all right. We've got the 20th Century Collector's Edition Cold Chisel. A couple of them haven't got this slipcase. This one is Breakfast at Sweethearts. So you've got, they open up. They're full of some photos and memorabilia. They're pretty cool. And at the back. Um, another one, The Last Wave of Summer. And finally, Beast. Looks like he's had a hard night there. My Barnsey. I'm sure he had a few hard nights. So yeah, that's, they're all, they all open up and get the others. So, I think I did pretty well with the music for the future. I'm not going to be bored. Anyway, so that was our big, big, um, thrifted music hall. So, like I said, 50 something dollars, 57 or something like that. But all of those did CDs. <laughs> anyway. I went shopping for a number of other things as well um, yesterday, so I will do a couple of separate videos for those, and I will see you later. Bye.